Ready? The second thing, you're going to plan and outline your overall objectives. What do you want to accomplish with your book? So the second thing, plan and outline your overall objectives. Now, what do I mean by that? When you're planning out your overall objectives, you need to first think like an authorpreneur. I like to use that word. You have to be in the authorpreneur mindset. You can't just be in the writer author mindset because your book is a business. When you write your book, before it's written, while you're writing it, and after you write and publish it, there are things that need to be done so that you can keep revenue coming in. You have to constantly keep your book in front of people or you're not going to make sales. You have to constantly be talking about your book. You have to be touring, going on podcasts or doing guest uh, blogs. You have to get in front of people, even at events, whether it's a virtual event or in-person event. You can always plug in a very professional way your book. Because not only when you write and publish your book, are you going to be in more demand, show more authority and credibility for what you're doing, you are going to actually have an asset right then and there uh, where you can um, leverage it. For example, I, as a speaker, and I've also helped some of my clients do this as well, people have come to me and have asked me to speak, but they didn't necessarily have my speaker's fee. So in turn, what I would do is say, okay, well, um, what I can do, because we can discount our prices, you know, like we want, we're business owners. So I'll say what I can do is if you purchase this amount of books, then I will um, take away the, the overall cost for uh, my speaker's fee. So you can have them purchase, depending on how large your organization is or what budget they're working with, they can just purchase the books and then their guests or the audience can leave with a piece of you, you know, more than their notes and what they were able to jot down on their smartphone or a piece of paper, they can take a book with them. And in that book, it's going to have your, not just your contact information, like a website, it's going to have all the things that's necessary so that they can know you've worked with people, you've transformed people in some sort of way um, based on what you're offering, the products and services that you're offering. The second thing is, what do you want your book to accomplish? So we talked, I touched on it just a little bit just now when I talked about the book helping you to leverage your speaking opportunity. So a book can definitely leverage other opportunities. So you can, your book can be an e-course. Do you want to take that book that you write and publish and turn it into an e-course? Do you want to turn it into a VIP day? Do you want to turn it into an audio book? What do you want your book to accomplish in the sense of the, the, fi the finality of um, your published book? Also, what do you want your book to ac accomplish covers another area as well. This would be like a, a part B of, of number two. What do you want the, the reader to actually be able to do by the time they finish reading your book. So for example, I don't know if you can see this, by the end of this book, you need to know how to write 1500 words in 15 minutes or less. And it needs to be 15 minutes or less, okay? Or the book is, is flop, all righty? The strategy behind this, it took me several years to get this strategy, but it's 15 questions that you answer over the course of one minute. So once you do that, you answer all the 15 questions, you give yourself one minute time to answer those questions. You're gonna have more, I haven't had anyone yet that has had less than 1500 minutes, except for a couple of people and those people had um, difficulty with the, the equipment that they were using.